Welcome back, everybody, to ESL Pro League live from the Intel Esports Arena. What are you doing? Oh, was that not my part? What are you doing, Stance? <laughs> was that not my part of the what intro? What are you messing about? I don't have for this. All right, will you do my job as well then? What do you think about this next match matchup coming here on Cash? Do some oh, exciting CS on this one? Excited for the uh, economy? Navi, don't you bet? Looking good. <laughs> That's okay, that good. works out quite well. It's pretty good snods, right? I'm a good You snoots. missed out the, the GG bit. You said the Navi dot bet. Don't GG dot bet. Of That's course. That's good. good. But that is going to be our second game that we have coming up. Obviously, map unero dos, number two. That was five. Cash. Rules everything around me. Mm. As that will be coming up shortly. So, no, it's train uh, actually nowhere near what we expected. Uh, I know, I know. I mean, we were here saying, right, we've had the one sided games. It's going to be a bit of a blowout here. Obviously, Navi, number two in the league. Obviously, the yesterday's defeat versus NIP, but they take the risks here in the map pool, trying to see if they can bring in train and cash to basically spice things up and expand the map pool going into the LAN events. Mm. Let's have a look at the odds for this one as well, because after that, you imagine they'll be quite tricky. Mm. Oh, that's some good money there for 1.75 for Navi versus... Oof, okay. Yeah. It is cash, though, to be fair. It's an unknown quantity, but still, you'd imagine... I mean, to be fair, after train, who knows? That's a good point. Who knows? And all that means is, now the bets for uh, Navi are worth more because obviously they lost the last map. It's cash as well, remember? So it's a map they haven't played... Gosh, what In was Yonks. That? Absolutely ages. Yes. A long time, basically. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, they're sitting very comfortable there at the top, so they're taking the risks, and I quite, you know, appreciate that. Yeah, that is true. So that actually will be quite spicy. I mean, to be fair, if we see a 2 from Heroic, this could just be lunacy. Yeah, it would definitely be unexpected. I mean, we have the 2-0 earlier on, Hellraiser versus a go, another, you know, uh, yeah. blowout 16, what was it, 16-8, 16-9, I believe it was, on those two maps. Coming into this one as well, we've had a 16-8, where or a 16-7 even, where it was a 6-0 in favor of Navi.gg.bet, <laughs> and obviously, they go to lose 16 to 1 in terms of rounds following that exact moment. So, for the standings as well, if you actually take them board, right? This is the fact that Navi currently are sitting at second oh place. Oh my goodness, they're eighth right now for Heroic. Yeah, I mean, you've got to imagine how this is going to affect it. That could be ridiculous in the bump they're going to get from Okay, that. okay. Already I'm, moved yeah. up to seventh. The issue is that uh, Heroic have played a lot of games. Yeah, they're at the end of their lifespan there with the yeah, games. Yeah, exactly. Today. Phase, however, you know, they've played what, 12, 14 maps, whereas Heroic are now on 14 plus 4 plus the one that just played there as well. So, 19 maps played. So, yeah. Heroic have played a lot more matches than you know many of the other teams here, so it would affect a little bit, but still, I mean, that should keep them uh, comfortable within that middle of the pack sort of level. Yeah, I mean, at least they're pretty much going to be safe out of relegation spot zones, right? They're always going to be in the safe mid zone, so unlikely any chance of an auto relegation or have to fight for their lives going into the next season, but the bottom of this league is shaping up quite interesting the way it's gone, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's, it's, got a, it's got a signify, it's got to be like, oh, there it is. Oh, which team are you pointing at? Uh, just generally, the bottom here, just a go and also Envy, but obviously a go actually moved up above LDLC, so. That's true. Today's been pretty wacky for the yeah, standards. Yeah, Envious lost, right? 16, uh, Envious lost earlier. both games. 16, 8, 16, 16 3, 3 or something, something like that, yeah. yeah. G2 obviously looking strong, they had the French Derby there on the mainstream, and yeah, Envious right now are stuck on, how many points is that? Seven points, so they've now played more matches, so a go are looking uh, you know, to further that distance away. Yeah, but let's jump into the actions. It seems like things should be ready as we're going to get underway with Heroic versus Na'Vi on cash nods. The second map in the series. This one is going to be a spicy affair. It's very important that there is a resurgence for Na'Vi, and it's on a bit of an interesting map. Yeah, cash. A map we're not really going to be used to seeing, and you can see Snappy trying to make Na'Vi as uncomfortable as possible. Up in the ante and heating things up. Oof, tag as well. The quick drive by headshot in towards a main. As now we see the five versus three. Well, they've already got the first couple of frags. This is a good start for Heroic. And even then, Rubino and Snappy further it. This is going to be a Heroic pistol. Yeah, you would expect that. Especially now, as it is Electronic in the one versus five. You know, the silver lining here for Electronic is the fact that both Snappy, Nico, and this attack as a trio are all dinked down to low HP. Bomb in towards A main. The smoke's already been deployed as well, so Nico using that one early. Not expecting the bomb to go down. Obviously, we're used to seeing the smoke diffuse get used, uh, you know, in tangent together. But here it goes. Electronic spotted here towards a main. Snappy is low HP, remember? So the one shot they will take him down. One versus four. 40 seconds left to work with this. He hasn't quite got the bomb just yet. Still so paranoid about all these angles from behind. Finds oh a second frag as well into this one versus five. And this is getting quite lively. Ooh. Electronic making the electric atmosphere in the room right now as he's already found a couple of frags. And he's going to be looking to close this one out and make it a Na'Vi pistol. But S-Tag above him. 
should get the drop on him. Yeah. Puts an end to the reign of his terror, but actually, considering that was essentially just a flawless round for Heroic, right? He then brings it back into a situation where it's a 2v1, and you've got the bomb plant. Yeah, I mean, fair enough, mate. You've now got bomb planted, so we should be seeing Na'Vi save into round number two, buy into round number three, have the AKs coming out. So, Rubino. Gonna be the sole UMP. Obviously, if we saw the bomb going, sorry, not going down for Na'Vi, then obviously we used to see more SMGs because they know that the SMGs are gonna have a eco round to play versus in the next one. But actually, no, in the next round here, Na'Vi combines. They have gone for, for the full eco. Electronic obviously finding three kills plus the bomb plant, so we had extra money to work with. And has invested it into a smoke as of yet, so. All of the players grouping up outside this A site. Already an eco from the first one to Flamey. Well, it should be a clean clinical round here for Heroic. Well, they lose Nico. He finds the first frag, tags up Zeus and Simple, but that weapon can now be picked up by Simple and used against its makers. As the push comes through out towards the A site. Nice tag. Has to try to find these kills. Peeks up, gets the first and the second. Everyone Oof. goes down. Jeez. As he just runs over him there with the M4 snots. Oi, oh, nice spray down there from Nico. It's actually from S Attack, my bad. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh... I was actually watching this time. <laughs> Two zero for heroic. And it's going to be the fire rounds here, Jack. Five AKs coming out, obviously, electronic. Going to be able to afford maximum utility. Bomb left to Watsman main, so it is going to be the, the uh, default coming out from Navi. Going to be going for the boost towards middle, so that means Flamely can. Oh, sorry, Simple can peer in towards Connector, Highway, clear out Sandbags, Vent as well. And actually a very passive approach here from both teams, essentially. It's only going to be Simple boosted up here towards middle. Oh. Speaking of passive things, Modi holding the angle there, expecting Flamey to next be, you know, expecting that angle there towards the cubby, in towards Sunroom, but he does. The flick of the wrist does connect, and now Simple has cleared middle. In patience now as he tries to push in and connects the second headshot there onto us attack. So we see the five versus three already. Yeah, that is a nice kill as he finds that fragment attack. This attack's been so useful as well throughout the whole series thus far. Nico, elevated angle. Simple didn't expect it, and we punished because of that. They're grouped up. It seems like it will be a B play. Rubina, maybe if he stayed alive, it could have been a different story. But at this point, it tells the tale that this should be around for Na'Vi as they've pushed in. And this really goes to show the difference that that bomb plant made. If they would have stopped with the electronic before he actually did get the 3k and get the bomb down, Na'Vi really shouldn't have been able to get a buyout from the AKs. They would have had to wait a little bit longer, but it's gone very well for them in the fashion that it has. It's very true. First kills found. Flame me obviously with a flick of the wrist towards Sunroom. Simple up from highway. That's a hard shot to hit as well. That little pixel, you know, headshot angle towards the toxic barrels of the top of highway is a hard angle to connect, but obviously 3.1 sensitivity. Still able to find those pixel headshots. All players from Heroic grouped here towards middle. Three highway, one connector, one with a flashbang. That's Moddy towards middle. On the A site, gonna flash over highway, blind up the players in towards middle. As the flash connects onto nothing, what Zeus is bullets do. Oh, Rubino, USB headshot there on Zeus, but the push comes through, an electronic on top of Starline is just able to align the stars for the first two kills. Flamey as well, quick flick, and a second on a Modi, as he does pick him down. That's Na'Vi with a second round now. So it goes two to two, they equalize the scoreline, the buy will come through from Heroic. He got the orb. Snappy's going to take it. Seems like we're going to go for something a little bit crazy there, but no, they're just going to keep it simple, obviously keep it on Snappy, give him the orb. Simple. Also willed in one of these absolute fierce weapons. Yeah. Going for the uh, 1 minute 49 second wall bang through connector. Oh, seems like they won't need the wall bangs here. And they're trying in front of the first strike there through middle. S attack now with the UMP submachine gun. Great at the close ranges, but at the long range jewels, it's the AWP you need to use. Snappy finds two. Now the numbers are equal. Three versus three is the lurk. Maybe coming here from Edward towards the A size. He's going to leave the door open. And slowly shift his gaze back in towards a main. Smoke comes in towards connector. As now Na'Vi can go through Venom towards the B side. It's just going to be Modi alone towards B. Playing a very good angle, actually. He can allow the Na'Vi players to slip past him. 
and then shoot them from behind and try to go one for two and turn it into a one versus two, for example. Bam. Edward in towards B main as well. That is going to be the B site on the cards here. They have a lot of for the back boxes. Question is, do they go for it? They burst down. There's the Molotov. Samadhi is forced to peek. He tried to wait as long as he could. Got the first kill. Was hoping that if he stayed there for as long as possible, they'd stop focusing towards the back of the site and assume the angle was clear. But instead, they still get the kill. 2v2. Stack as well. Taking tons of damage from the Molly. So it's just Zeus and Edward. I'll have to try and close this one out. Nice tag. Goes for the little face in the angle. Small gap in the smoke. Was trying to see if anyone would be crossing around, but they're already off the site. Playing from positions that favor them. They do get smoked out, but it was only the one smoke they had available to them in their pockets. Edward gets contact, but doesn't go for anything too crazy just yet. They might be on the site, but that defuse is going to be nigh and impossible. Estag taps it, but realizes he needs to get out of there. Snappy with the frag, but Zeus, all he has to do is hold. At this point, he can exit freely. Here's another round for Na'Vi as they pick that one up, giving themselves the advantage now and the lead of a third round. It's true. Sixth round now. The Molotov, the awareness in towards the B site was there. Mo well, Molly did well to even get one frag there, to be honest. Turned it into a two versus two. Made it a winnable scenario for Heroic. But notorious is that B bomb site. How it does favor the T's. Once again, simple. Going to go for the one minute 49 warbang. Doesn't connect. Because why not? Anyway, it's the eco frags being collected here by Flaming Nico. Is the orb actually going to pick that one up and go for the white face? Oh, simple. The confidence we know he has. Oh, well, actually, <laughs> Electronic going to frag out there and deny that orb kill. Just going to be the CZ here. No Kevlar for Moddy now in the one versus four. Minute 25 left on the clock. So easy bomb plant here for Na'Vi. Maybe Moddy can get one and try and get away scot free. The orb is unsalvageable here. That's going to be the bomb going down. And the round going the way of Na'Vi, giving them a fourth. You can definitely see the confidence resurgence now getting into the second match. Trying to play with a lot more aggression, playing with that more classic Na'Vi style. It's the thing about Na'Vi, obviously, before, they were known for this slow, steady, drawn-out style, down to the 20-second mark each and every time. And then things sort of, you know, changed a little bit. They, they added the faster paced rounds to their agenda. Because obviously teams were exploiting the fact that they played slow, you know, saving grenades, playing passive, using the orbs, you know, counter flash, because they know that Na'Vi played slow map control style of CS where they flash angles, then peak. They're not going to rush into angles and rush into jewels and take those dry peaks. Instead, you just play counter flash, you play hidden, you wait for Na'Vi to Flash, then push, then you get a flash from your teammate. And you go for that wide swing and you kill them all. Or you save your monotops till 20 seconds and it's GG. Oh. Let's see then. 4 to 2 hit in at 2, round number 7. As of right now. No, he's just playing the slow default, holding the angles. The electronic trying to clear out towards mid, suspected that maybe someone could have gone for a push through. Stag just holds underneath the boost though. Flamey actually with first contact with the MP7. Gets a free frag, but there is a trade from Rubinio. <laughs> Rubinio? Rubinio. 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 <laughs> Rubinio. Like Rubina. Jackie, I never make mistakes, Peters. Was it intentional? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, was it? Well. Rubinio with the up towards the B site. Won't be tested here today. As instead, it is going to go down on towards the A site. Smoke. Oh, slight gap there. So you may be able to see just a, the leg come out from Edward as he's fairly low as well from the grenades. Rattling off and the splash damage connecting in towards the door. But speaking of doors, he could get spammed through it. Modi, up top. Is able to pick up the first on Edward there, is he? Wall bangs him down. A couple more tags coming through. Nico eventually finishes off Zeus though as the site is now under heavy aggression. Na'Vi. Left into a two versus three. It's going to be a bit awkward. Nico and Astag on the site, they do age each other. Rotate comes around now as well. So all three men are on the site. But it's just left on Simple. Simple can't muster it up. So Heroic, get that round. And they're not far from bridging the gap. But the factor is that Na'Vi can buy back into it. They can afford to get the force buy out, obviously. Instantly rebuy. And just dominant from that. 
four to three. Both teams gonna be going for the buy here. Simple as six thousand dollars. We should be seeing the all-power for him. Oh, that's a tag. Are you gonna run across? Nope, the shot missed again. Feels like uh, Hiroko expecting it now. You saw Esetag jumping across. He knows that he needs to avoid being headshot through the connector wall. Spam through the smoke. They're going to be catching the legs of Nico. Down to just 75 HP. Molotov as well. We're not spreading clear at that angle as well. So we can still hide and play passive here. But it will be the A site on the cards now for Na'Vi. Or for Simple can clear out the angles. But it will be the AWP from Rubinio. Defending the posts. Trying to see if he can... I don't know any football analogy, mate. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's dead. Simple's aimed him. He's gone for the face. He's been able to just... Backslap him there. Ooh. Second as well. As he smacks down Modi. It's just snappy Nico and Estag left. And in reality, you probably just go for the save on this one. Give it to Na'Vi. That'll be a free five score line. Simple's just... Been able to blow that round a bit, swore off his lonesome. One for Snappy. But obviously, Consolation Frags is obviously simple. The 2K opens up that A site and wins it for Na'Vi. You saw there as well, he did like the, the jump off the box, you know, shoulder peek, then he lands, then he crouch peeks mm -hmm. instantly and just oh, blew him out of the server. It's another one as well to rub salt into the wounds. Five to four, five to three. Will be the scoreline. Heading into round number nine. So, Nika will save the AWP, but apart from that, should be the Ika coming out for Heroic. They can force around the AWP. Oh. And then the second as well. For the smoke even blooms. Quick adjustment there. So, it seems like they will force. And this gives a lot of space here for Na'Vi. Remember as well, the Betway odds, 1.75 because Na'Vi lost the last map. Plus it's cash, a map they never play in officials. So the odds are really good. Fortunately though, Na'Vi struggling under the pressure into this round as the aggression comes through. Two quick kills, one with the SMG, one with the CZ. You've got bomb control. Nico though, naughty with the AWP, simple. Hits him with the unzoom, goes for the reface, but Nico does it. Nico punishes them all. Danish demolition as he just blows in the bits there. Wow. That was swift, wasn't it? That was. That was fast. That was a quick round. A lot of good orpers at the moment on the B stream. Twani yesterday. Mm -hmm. Snappy Nico today. Simple, obviously. We don't really get much Na'Vi, do we? Very rarely. We get a lot of heroics. We get a lot of LDLCs. Um, Yeah. Do you get off Astralis as well, actually? Only when it's a stomp, though. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like Astralis LDOC or something. Mm. Mm. Flaming. Nice. Easy transition there with a the flick. Gets that kill. Ooh, took a ton of damage from that, actually. Didn't feel like he'd be tagged up that much, so that's not going to be great. It means he really has to just try and divert back now and play this one a little bit safer. Try and stay alive. Oh, once again, a quick adjustment from Flamey towards the B site. Finds the first frag for Na'Vi in their favor. As the walk push is gonna come in towards T main or A main. Flashbang comes in. Oh, perfect. Flamey there. Whiter than a piece of paper. <laughs> even more frags go in their favor. Simple gonna be missing the shot with the op. As they do collide together. Zeus and Simple, two versus four. 50 seconds left on the clock. That's all Horak have to do here is not concede this first kill. And Make sure they have four players staying alive here because they need their cash to start to build. Navi pushing their way out through mid. It's just Zeus and Simple that are left. Ooh, snappy detects them. It's going to sound the alarm as he knows where they are now. They have to divert back. They're going to try and go through vent into a late round B. I mean, it might be the best call for him, really. The only man on the B site is Modi. You can get the rotate around from S attack, but at that point, they might be able to secure site control, but simple has to be the huge impact factor. 10 seconds left, though, it will be the save. Instead, he's going to try and stay alive. Risky, though, towards mid. They can be hunted here. Counter win. Wow. Save comes through. Zeus 
and Simple. Orb save, obviously AK as well. Most likely going to be Zeus dropping that one over to Simple. But actually has a decent, you know, spawn here. Just could go for the mid peak with that one and switch it back later. Obviously, tactical timeout now for Navi because if they work out whether or not they want to go for the Force. But as two players survived, the bomb was not planted. The time expired, which means they get no round win bonus, which means obviously two players, both Navi and Simple, should be rather broke. So we might be seeing the three players force around them. Yeah, because you're not going to have the best cash. It's going to be restricted, I mean. Potentially with Simple, you never know. He can be a bit of a, a one-trick pony at times that you can just send towards the site and allow him to do whatever he wants. And more times than not, he actually will be able to find some really huge impact frags. But as of right now, Snob's going to be switching over those weapons. They give... What are they actually doing with the guns here? Hang on. Yeah, Simple gets dropped the AWP. All right, I thought that was going to be the case. So Zeus takes the AK. Yeah. Simple dropped the AWP. But so, where do they go for the peak? Yeah. Deagle for Flamey. P250 on for Edward and a CZ there for Electronic. Simple able to be the lone wolf in terms of getting entries towards the A site in just a few rounds ago. Onto the AWP from Rubinio. Ah. Rubinio this time onto the FAMAS. AWP. Station towards the B-bomb site instead. It's now for Heroic. They have to wait for Na'Vi's call. And what do you really do here? You got the all from Simple, so you can play the contact style off of him. Try and have him solo win the round, essentially. Zeus is well the AK, so you can send those pistols out and use the AK as a trade vessel to obviously refrag the fallen pistols. They will be sending the op towards middle, hoping that someone, and that's someone being Rubino, Overfaces towards white box and concedes the first kill to Na'Vi. They can then retrieve the weapon from his corpse and exploit maybe a highway, split in towards the A site. But you can see here now, 45 seconds left, and Na'Vi is going to be running out of options very soon as the bomb makes its way towards door. Simple here as well as found himself in towards A main. They have the flank coming in from behind onto Electronic up highway once the eventual commitment does begin. Zeus will join the ranks there as well. Who's coming in towards white? No. Is it simply going to hit towards A and highway? Nico. Needs to be very effective into this round. The only dinks coming through there from the Fama, so potential they had there with the swarm play doesn't really work out too well. But Zeus makes it work from the AK. Nico goes undetected for quite some time, but he only gets one kill. Panicked and flustered because the angles that were in play from Navi. He does go down. Modi on the aggression there. Early retake potential as it falls into a three versus two. Zeus, flamey, and simple. Zeus and Flamey, both so, so low. It's the save for Heroic already. They've thrown the towel in, but they can be hunted. Yeah, with how that bomb radius was on train, it still might be uh, in danger. But all the way in towards T-Spawn. Zeus hunting as well in towards the B-Site. Coming in from behind, I don't think Snappy's going to expect this. He has the AWP and the barrel may show... Ooh. Yep, seize it. We'll go for the pre-fire. Connects the shots, but money will deny the save of the up. But Simple already has one. 3k there from Zeus with a saved AK. Two towards the A site up from Highway. And obviously the final one there to deny the save of the up for Heroic. And this is the issue here for Heroic because they almost have to be forced into an awkward scenario where they force into round number 12. If Na'Vi win this, they go 7-5 up. Plus an eco comes up from Heroic. They may be 8-5 up. Eight rounds already winning the half on their T side here on Cash. As right now, they're looking strong. Yeah. I mean, the point is as well, that actually hurts them a ton more than it hurts Na'Vi losing those weapons like that. It'll be another save. Oh, oh, Simple my. gets two frags already as they just push their way towards him. He's able to get the openers on the A site. Snappy's there, but Snappy only has a scout. Let's see if Scouty can find any kills with this. <laughs> as he tries to get himself into a position, going to slowly slip round. Juice finds the headshot as he Slaps down the electronic. That is a good start at the very least. Yeah. Decent. Nearly connects a second as well. A little bit too slow there on the readjustment of the scope. And now the remaining two players here from Heroic. Modi, Rabino, M4, uh, UMP, flashes, smoke, diffuse kit, plus a CZ as well for Modi, which he can drop over into the next round. So they will be saving this one. Navi can plant. And then obviously... They do go 7-5 to five up. But the Eco coming out now into the next one here for Heroic won't be that bad because you have an M4, UMP plus a CZ save. You also have a Diffuse kit there for Modi, so in case, you know, a crazy 
antic happens with these upgraded pistols. They can, you know, back it up with a diffuse kit. So they have, you know, prowess and some, uh, you know, kudos in the retake. But apart from that, going to go 7 to 5 up here. Two round advantage now for Navi on their T side. But the question for me is uh, Heroic's T side on train looked flawless. And uh, is, you know, seven or eight rounds enough on the T side here for Cash? Oh my god, the drive by on that one. Denying both of the weapons there, which means going into the next round, this will be so much easier as well because Navi should be able to just steamroll over them. They're going to be weak, but yeah, not a buy at all. Can't even muster up a real quasi if you wanted to run the risk, but that's not going to be too great for Heroic. Pause comes through as well as they want to talk about where they adapt here as they need to adapt soon. They do indeed. Navi just been playing slow, really. Mid control, highway splits, B splits 5 then. By the time it gets to the 40 second mark, that seems to be, or sorry, the 30 second mark, it seems to be where Navi actually make their final decisive call. The problem is that you always have to be wary about a fast play from Navi, a rush towards B, a fast mid play like we've seen before, the flashbangs over mid main. So, if we see nothing early from Navi, ah, okay, so it's going to be the E cover, so yeah, we're expecting to see the 8 to 5 scoreline, but for Heroic here, obviously, they lose this one. Three rounds down, how much cash they're going to have? I mean, 2.4k will be their round loss bonus, so they're not even going to have an AWP here. So, in terms of trying to play slow and have an impact with that one versus simply if he goes for a peek onto you, it may be difficult. Simple going to switch to the Deagle instead. Oh my. He's just taking this as aim practice right now versus oh, oh. aimbot as he gets himself the ace versus the eco. I mean, what do you do versus that, man? 14 frags are ready for this guy. After 13 rounds being played out, we head into round number 14. Five to eight, as simple as a shooting gallery. And this is it from there, Pov. Okay, I think he missed one shot there. As he hits the flick, lands the tag, then the body shot, oh, the head shot, the no scope tag, then the body shot, then the head shot. Disgusting! Phil. He, uh, he definitely can be a bit of a, a machine at times. Oh, the Back into the matter at hand. Buyer comes out from Heroic. That was only the Eco, so you can't imagine too much from them in that. But it's never nice to be aced versus simple, is it? No, you know, one of the nice things um, people ask me, no one asks me, I ask myself in my head sometimes, why do you, you know, why do people pause after they lose the Eco? Why won't you pause before the buy round? Mm -hmm. But one of the nice things that happens is, you know, you lose the round, you're upset, you pause, you talk about what you're going to change, and then you feel quite happy. You're like, oh, okay, we're going to win now, we've changed this. You know, who cares if we lose this eco? We're going to win the next buy round. Do you know what I mean? And then that happens. You think, oh, do you know what, mate? Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. Just depends how the mental fortitude is going to be holding up. As we get into basically the last two rounds of the half here to decide where this is going to go. Shaping up possibly be a 10-5 if Na'Vi win this round. But let's see. As the push comes through. Oh, Edward. The first kill there as well. Is that the wall bank? Straight through door? What was that? Sound like his mother then. Edward! Edward. <laughs> what have you done? How have you done that? What Edward? have you knocked over a squeaky? Well, Susan's well going to chime in. Four versus three. We're seeing one frag here from Molly towards the B bomb. Somebody's going to need a hell of a lot more. He's going to be dying this site away from Na'Vi's hands. You know, the pop flash could be everything. Ooh, Edward, he was blind, but he's still not dead. Simple as well, finds the kill. This is going to be the ninth round. There's no way. Nico, I mean, save the, uh, the M4 if you can, really. You've got armor. You've got yourself a flashbang. That's it. Your teammates are going to be pretty broken into the next one anyway. So it's worth just trying to at least clutch on to the bare minimum. Wow. One versus one jewels, one across the whole of the map. Obviously, Edward through the door. Zeus to the B site. Electronic as well. Nine, two, five. Four run advantage for Navi, and the money is god awful for Heroic here into the last round of the first half. As uh, might be seeing Navi get to double digits here at 10. How is the buy going to be shaping up here for Heroic? Famas for Modi. Two UMPs for both Rubino. Nico as well. CZ. Esa tag and the Deagle for Snappy. So they've got a diffuse kit. Oh, pretty good utility as well. So they've got grenades. Counter nades or to deny a fast play. But Navi, if they slow the round down, they can bleed out the economy or they can just bleed the head by landing headshots. That works too.
Yeah, they could just kill him, it seems. So that's going to be the cool. Edward, once again, let's see what he actually did over at door. As he tries to go for the peek out. Takes the firefight, but full short this time, Nico will kill him with a UMP. Oh, snappy. Tried to get the frag off, but just missed it way too many times there against Simple. And you give him a chance, you know he's going to run straight over you. Is this a 3v2? They're actually keeping this one pretty close, considering how things looked at the start of the round. Simple could be caught off on the rotate. But he does bypass him. Goes back to spawn. Grabs an AK instead. But is he going to throw the clip in the AK and slay from far away? Wow. Oh. Let's see. Two versus three. Clearing out the right side angle here, but... Ooh, okay. Bit of a whiff there from Nico, and you can't give any space or opportunity to Heroic. You missed there from Nico. You saw the instant headshot from Electronic. Simple. Electronic both gathered here towards middle. They go through vent. The B side's clear. Rabino only on 14 HP. One shot from these AKs will take him down. And now he has the steps towards vent. Paranoid about a beast slip coming through. But actually the real play is towards the A side. Especially now as the attack gets caught off guard towards highway. This should be a 10-5. And you look at the HP from Rabino. Plus the side's hits. Well, not his, but Na'Vi's. But he's got a defuse kit as well. Yeah. Bomb's going to go down. For Rabino. Let's see player pushes his way back over. Spotted out by Simple. Simple closing it out as it is going to go 10 to 5. Heroic only five rounds achieved, whereas Na'Vi double that scoreline on their T side. They switch things around now. Obviously, Na'Vi going to be moving over to the CT side. Heroic going to be trying to tackle them on the T side, but Na'Vi definitely woken up off the back of the first map. Most definitely. Obviously, a lot to prove here on Cash. For years, Cash has been the instant first map ban from Na'Vi. But it made sense before. Playing such a slow style with such tight choke points, A main, B main, mid main, or highway vents and whatnot. Playing that slow style isn't really effective. You look at Cobblestone, well, no, Cobblestone's not the, uh, the example to give, sorry. You look at maps like Overpass, where, or Mirage, where the, you know, there's Connector, you can boost into a window, you can go shore. The apps, palace, ramp, you know. The problem is, because utility is so fundamental on CT side cash, if you just waited 30 seconds, you Molotov A main, you then smoke A main, at those, you know, latter stages of the rounds, Na'Vi were useless. You're running through smokes with, you know, 15 seconds left, trying to plant the bomb on the A site when it wasn't really the most uh, effective time. Plus, as well, Na'Vi rely a lot on bomb plants. A site is very easy to retake, remember, so... That also favors the CT side of the team because they can play passive if they need to, if they're losing map control at that point, obviously. Having a site in the control of the T's isn't as, you know, impactful as it is on a map like Cobblestone, for example. So, 10 to 5, as you said, Na'Vi going to be doubling the scoreline put up by Heroic. And also going to be having half the pressure, it seems, going into the second half pistol because Heroic, if they lose it, that could be the game as good as done. Yeah, it could be over. And this pistol room really does decide so, so much. Na'Vi, if they can pick it up, basically going to be looking at, if they do deny the bomb plant, 13-5. If they don't, at least 12-5, then it's going to be questionable. That's anyone's game. Baruch definitely still come back from this. They can try and put up a fighting chance. They look really effective on train, but they're going to need to start getting these rounds soon, if that's the case. We are waiting for the players to get ready into this one. We're not rambling on for nothing here, are we, Jack? You want to see the action just as much as you guys at home do as well. So, do you think Na'Vi closes this one out? Those odds, though, 1.75 to, uh, to a 2. Mm. I think those are great odds for Na'Vi. Yeah, it's been it's worth putting that on. I mean, if you think about it, really, because... Yeah, 75% return on investment yeah. crazy. Like they overall, they are the superior team when you look at things on paper. Train definitely a bit of an upset, but it just depends. I suppose the the asterisk was the fact that it is cash, a map that is is very rarely played. Triple boost towards middle from heroic. They are obviously waiting patiently. Maybe a smoke towards connector or a smoke towards CT on the B bomb side to draw away the player that is Edward towards highway. That obviously allows for heroic to get in towards CT vent. 
And let's see what happens here. Going to be forcing Edward back, but it seems like it will be the beast split. Showing the bomb towards high where they get the first frag as well onto Edward. Because they will be going back towards the B-bomb side. It's all down to Zeus. Smoke goes down. Zeus. Trying to get a shot off through the smoke. This push comes in towards the B-bomb side. Zeus just trying his luck as he goes for the little tap here and there. Hoping that he would have been able to connect someone's head, but everyone stays alive. Flamey falls. It's simple, electronic, and Zeus for the retake is simple. Peering down from the elevated angle, the height and ground that he has. What can he actually bring to the table here? What is he going to be able to find as they get ready to burst their way out? Time ticking down. No kit. So if they don't go for it soon, it will just have to be the call. Yeah, you can see backing off. Zeus and the electronic going to go for the save. Simple. Probably going to do the same, but a little bit later on as he wants to try to find these kills first. Then he gets one, and then he leaves things be. Wow. Six to five. As Heroic win, both pistols. Obviously, if you remember the one versus five for Hero uh, Electronic, which he nearly won, to be fair. But he didn't spot the head out of from a Enzo tag there on default. Found that frag. There's a one versus one, essentially. And that could have been quite the upset. But instead... 10 to 6. Round number 17 coming out here as it will be the 5 AK buy from Heroic. They're going to be running no risks here, Jack. No SMGs to come through. And that might be uh, quite awkward when they start to push in towards the sites, obviously. He's very good at jumping around the corners with those SMGs, making it awkward for the CZs to land the double dings. If you become too tense with those AKs, you know, it could be easy just to line you up and spray you down with the upgraded pistols, but... First frag found. Nico going down, but a dink across the map with the CZ. On it to Rubino. Nico. Pushing for the vent, going for the spam down. Zeus is there, just lying him up with the CZ. Nico on about 58 HP. As if he did push through, it would have been risky, but instead, Heroic actually going to group up. Possibly go for a late run play towards the A site. You've got two smokes, two flashbangs. And it's Edward and Electronic on the site, only armed with their pistols. Five versus four. 45 seconds left on the clock. Edward close in towards a main. There's no flash though from Electronics. They can't flash peek into a main here and try and catch Heroic by surprise. So now the push will come in. Oh, woof! Rubino did spot out the shoulder and the elbow. But Edward has something to say. And a spam through the smoke as well from Simple Steagles does connect. But it's going to be the frags going to favor of Heroic. Yeah. Just like that. It seemed a little bit doable there. But if. There's one player to put your stock in. It's going to be simple. You can always be a mean machine into these rounds. He's got Armored Eagle, though. Is he going to try and run the risk and actually go for it? Just waiting to see if anyone else offers themselves up as sacrifice to him if they're going to overextend him. Give him the chance to land the shot with a Deagle. They play it smart. They're just going to be holding close on the site. Obviously, they do have to exit. So that's where his window of opportunity lies. Snappy. Oh, he spots him out with the timing. Lands the oh. shot as well. Kill Snappy. Nico realizes, you know what? No, I'm just going to go through door. Yeah, no. <laughs> See you, Snappy. I'm off, mate. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm late for my... Wow. He can actually recover a gun here. Oh, nope. Did try, though. But because he found the two kills with the Deagle, it now means he can't afford Kevlar to back up the AWP into the first buy round, which might actually be quite pivotal. 20 kills and six deaths for Simple. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you know, did have the 5k versus the eco, but still, that was uh, rather flamboyant. Have you used the utility early on? Navi playing group towards mid. Simple still with the deagle. As he finds the first frag on Snappy. His teammates go down. Oh, simple. Boosted up, but now really quite far down as he is dead. Rubino. Gonna kill Edward. Well, now Edward, she stays alive there, but eventually does come back through. Finds the kill with the Deagle, but it's just one. They force out two rebuys for Heroic, but Heroic get the round. Now Na'Vi can finally afford a buy it, though. Indeed they can. 10 to 8. Simple. Onto the AWP. He has enough money for a flashbang, but 
awkwardly not going to be investing into any utility. He might just be playing extremely aggressively in that case. But if he misses a shot, he has no flashbang to go for the reface with. With as Zeus will be here towards the B bomb site as well. They are pushing through the smoke, getting aggressive here. Molly oh, through the smoke. Eventually, they'll be connecting the shots onto Simple. Five versus four. As RV potentially trying to force the issue here against Heroic. Now, mid control conceded. A main as well. There's no presence there from either team, say Heroic or Na'Vi. But what, Hero what do Heroic do against this one? They have the money. They've got the man advantage now versus Na'Vi.gg.bet. The problem is, obviously, Jack, there's a minute left on the clock. And they can now group together and trade the frags. It's going to be a 5 versus 2 towards the A side. We see both Zeus and Electronic towards B. And someone's playing Counter-Strike right now, Jack. And so is Na'Vi. Yep, Mighty Max <laughs> launching the game. But let's see if Mighty Flamey... Was it actually? Yeah, it was Max, yeah. <laughs> let's see if Mighty Flamey can actually hold them back, Snoods, as this push comes out towards the A side. Flashbangs go over. They're going to leap their way through. Molotov down. Flamey with the first. Tries to get the second, but he's killed by Snappy. Ooh. Rubino as well finds that tap on Edward. So it's just Zeus and Electronic left. But that's another save call. You gotta just back off, give that one up for free. That's a ninth round now for Heroic. Very, very close to getting this to a 10 10. Maybe playing cash wasn't the best idea. But I did say on uh, the T side for Navi, you were expecting a lot to come out from them. More worried about the CT side from Navi on cash. Just to. You know, the issue here we saw on train was Heroic's clinical style and clinical calling from Snappy so far has been fundamentally sound. It's been near perfect so far. I mean, in terms of out-rotating Na'Vi, understanding the aggression where Simple's going to be peaking, or if we see Electronic trying to get those first sort of frags, Heroic seems to know where to hold. And Heroic seems to be knowing where to also exploit Na'Vi as well. We saw a four versus two, or a five versus two, apologies, towards the A site when Heroic had the advantage. That's the thing, you know, you get that first strike onto Simple, you slow the pace of the round down, you then hold for Na'Vi if they go for any re-aggression, which they might do for information, or to try get into a four versus four. If nothing happens and they still play on their sites, we'll abuse that. They're going to be split two to two across the sites, two A, two B. Have a five versus two onto one of those sites, do an execution as a grouped up team, re your teammates, and the round's yours. Vandalism towards B. Yeah. Bandits. Oh, crisscross smokes there towards B. The electronic peeks out. Finds that kill. Looks for a little bit more. Edward, though, with the timing for the smoke, is pivotal. Oh, that is beautiful. The Punisher with the pistol there. As he gets those two frags, arms himself with the AK. Edward looking to make this memorable, but instead. He loses his head. He won't be remembering too much after that one as the bullet hits him right in the cranium. Moddy lobs out that nade. Oh, how much damage. That was simple through the wall. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Let's see who gets the uh, the assist on the kill. Moddy now last alive. One versus four. 50 seconds left. And he is holding for the peak from Electronic. And he will find that kill. And he will telegraph exactly where he is towards T-Spawn. And the question is, obviously, Navi's money isn't going to be Something to write home about. So do they want to try and overextend? A bit too much here. As it seems like Moddy will be going for the save. And is that the right call to make? First round they've lost. I mean, Rubino can buy, Snappy can buy, Nika can buy. They can all buy. So yeah, if he saves here, Aero can buy in two round of 21. Mike Cass now playing player unknowns battlegrounds. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, he was a player on energy for though, wasn't he? Ooh. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. All so, still mates. Moddy gonna get away with a save, because he will be able to clutch onto the AK into the next round. That's now an 11th for Na'Vi. Dot GG. Dot bet. This was lovely from Edward, actually. This is really well played. Yeah. Perfect time in there as well, with Electronic gaining all of Heroic's attention. But... 11 to 9, two round deficits still for Heroic. As now they have been reset. $2,000 there for S attack. And 2000 for Modi. So, Navi, if they win this round, they could be sending Heroic on to the eco. Oh, 
Oh, simple. Hello. Let's see if he can go lights out with this one. Ha! Alright, let's see if he can lampoon them. Ooh. Oh my, forget that. Moddy? He's modding. He's cheating. Getting these kills out of nowhere. Stack as well. This is it. This is the round at that point. You've got side control. Bomb can go down. Edward and simple. Saving. I mean, he's, he's put so much effort into getting there. You might as well stay there. It's kind of like an owl. Just, just owling it up. Ooh. Snappy pushes through. Edward does find that kill. But even then, it's still going to be the save. What do owls eat, Jack? Uh, worms. Various other types of of sort of smaller mammal. Rats. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they actually they do eat rats. So who's the rat on Toroic? Uh, well, Nico has been eaten by the owl. So I guess Nico. You heard it here first. Well, at least Simple does actually save the orb. Yeah, he jumps off. Yeah. He jumps off. Yeah. 10 to 11. Moddy. Woof. That was huge. I never saw that one coming. He must have a perfect timing from the smoke being deployed towards B main. As Zeus is obviously walking to the left side. As he walked through that smoke. 10 to 11. Both teams now up to double digits. And it will be... Another force for Na'Vi. I thought this was going to be the eco. They got double up as well. Yeah. P250 though for Zeus. M4 for Electronic. Uh, a USP for Edward. Oh gosh. This oh, no. might not have been the best decision to make. Yeah. I mean, it's literally just the double up pretty much that's left alive. You've got Zeus, but he's trapped at mid with just a P250 in his pockets. His ears can be falling back. That's another save call. That's a save call. That'll be 11-11. <laughs> As if they're already saving a minute 25. Surely not. That might be the quickest save I've ever seen in my life. One minute 25 and they save at that. Surely not. It depends. Unless you went back to get something. But... Hey, they're coming back into it. Where's the info? Ooh, there, you go. there we go. That would be more worth the save if he's actually going to go for it. Let's tag towards mid. I mean, you've still got a lot of firepower. Suspect the angle, locates the kill. Okay, this is good, right? You can still work off the back of this, especially if Zeus would have gotten that frag on Nico. But now it's a manageable spot. 2v2. In terms of the players that are on 4 HP, Rubino and Nico are low. <laughs> well, let's see if it's the end point of Na'Vi's money. As they were trying to go for the save, but Zeus makes this one nearly winnable. Simple, holding the angle, wait for the push to come through, barely misses it, but goes for the left shot, doesn't land it. Uncharacteristic of Simple Flamey as well. Looking like he tapped out there as kill comes through from Moddy. Maybe it was worth going for that save. Yeah. 11 to 11. And now the eco for Na'Vi, dot GG, dot bet. <clears throat> as obviously, we're used to seeing them force round and round again, but there's no saved weapons here. <laughs> what are you doing, Gump? Gumster, what are you doing playing Pro League? Oh, dear. Snappy with the first kill on Flamey there as he comes through. Heroic, all five members still alive. Stag up top. If he pushes through with this Mat 10, I mean, you could probably just mow him down a little bit, start to get some bang for your buck, because it's only pistols on Na'Vi. Oh, we got a double whammy here. Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> what game's that? I couldn't even read it this far away. <laughs> it's outrageous. Everyone's playing, apart from Na'Vi. And this push coming in towards the A site. Maybe they're leading the charge. Grouped up with the rest of his squadron. Can they assassinate the key members of the defense? Molotovs go out early, lobbed out. Smart. You force Zeus out of position. Good use of the smokes as well there as they will now push in off the back of it. Spam from s -tag. He tries to find the frags. Will kill the first man in Zeus. Spots out Edward, makes mincemeat out of him. As it's only electronic and simple now that are alive. Oh, simple with a deagle. He's looked absolutely crisp with it all day. Flashbang as well, gonna blind him. So he will fall back a little bit. Yeah, his face is though, simple. He's hungry for these frags. He wants to deal some damage with the deagle. Oh, Moddy. In towards connector. Dispatched off by simple. Salavi. So, Salavi. Oh, oui, oui. Well, at least they've saved that. 
And now Simple will have the AK into the next buy round. But it's going to go 12 to 11, so Heroic are going to have the advantage here. Is it to round number 24? Wow. What's this? Best tackling people with his map tap. <laughs> really? Is that highlight worthy? Oh, he's killed him. <laughs> he has killed an eco with a Mac 10. <laughs> You're right. Is that one tickled you? That yeah, that one has got me a little bit. It's tickled you pickle. That one has got me a little bit. Nice. Edward finds that fragment attack. Oh, flamey. Tries to get the kill off on Moddy. Nico will return the favor though as he punishes him with the AK. Snappy trying to come through with the AWP. As the Molotovs go down, Nico. Up on towards the bomb site as the bomb goes down. Off the back of Rubino. It's going to be the retake. Oh, Snods, they're straight in. Edward testing it as he risks it, finds the frag. And all of a sudden, it's just Nico left. And Nico Ooh, goes that's... down. That's a flick up from Edward. I know. That was a nice shot there. That's a smooth transition. He's got a big mouse, Matt. I know. I think he plays in really high sense. I'm pretty sure Edward plays on a three cents. Cannot confirm nor deny. But I'm pretty sure he does play on high sensitivity. What, what are they saving here? What are they looking for? Um, Not sure, really. Because they went off on a mad one looking for something. Simple had the defuse kit, but he didn't get on it. So we were like trying to one of the longer defuse. They all ran towards mid, boost each other up. What was on boost? I don't know. He's trying to find out when their contracts expire, maybe. Ooh. Edgy. Edgy. Well, three AKs, an M4, and an AWP on Simple. Play me a little bit restricted in terms of utility, though. They don't have any smokes. They've only got three. Yeah. AWP here for Snappy on the T side. As remember, this was a 10 to 5 half, and in our views, we kept saying over and over again, we're doubling the scoreline. Well, actually, a boost here to get him onto the position. Oh. Someone's going to help him out. It does make noise. On the metal clang. So, five versus four. Flaming towards MBK, lines with the first frag. Still tries to get away. The flashback does connect and eventually going to be traded out there by Nico. Three versus four. Yeah, and just Snappy and Rubino left. Snappy. Can he land a snapshot or is this actually going to be Navi finally with stable footing? On their CT side. Molotov comes in to try and force him out of position. Takes a fair bit of damage. He has to reposition. Gets the kill on Edward, though. Oh, this could still be them fighting their way through if Snappy lands the shot. Snappy's doing it. Smoke goes down as well. They're wasting time. You've got two kits and two players left on the CT side. Simple seems to be the one that's going, look, we need to push right now. But the elevated boost nods. If they go for a counter boost on the boost, they both boost as everyone goes down. Simple taps the bomb. Snappy, left in the 1v2, Snappy dies, they jump on it! But they ain't got time for that, they're just gonna be at the close. Yeah, they got they it, just they got grab it. it last second. Oh. Wow, Na'Vi, 13 rounds, 26 to nine for Simple. Yeah, that is a, that's a KD for you. All right. 13 to 12, then round number 26. Two versus three in that one. The shot from the orb, the spam from the M4 to mask the boost in towards the red container. We're obviously the fans those frags as they saw the player boosted behind quad, which obviously meant two players quad, so very easy read there. As the smoke comes out, oh, actually smokes it out a little bit too close towards himself, so he cannot take advantage through that one. As it will be the contact play, or oh, I say contact, more of a burst as they swarm in towards B. Oh my. Oh, Rubino finds that frag as well. Eventually is sent off to the Burns Ward, but still. 3v4 as the push comes back around and looks down. This is going to be 13 13. Surely there's no way. Edward and Flamey would need to retake it. Flamey comes through. Ferocious as ever as he lumps down Nico. S tag falls short. Snappy. Oh, Edward. He's doing the unthinkable. Ooh. He does it. Finds the final tap from the M4 somehow as the bullet ricochets into their head. And he pushes it through. 14-12. I mean, that would have been 13-13. Now instead, Eco, because it would have been reset. Yeah. The round should have gone in favor of the next one for Heroic. You know, we, you know, we should be looking at a 15-13. You know, Na'Vi trying to play for overtime, let alone getting the job done in regulation. And Heroic's cash isn't fabulous at this point. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's quite bad. 14-12. to 12. Double up setup as well for Na'Vi. Yeah. 
maybe flamey and simple. You can't really tell, you see. Uh, I think simple. I think this is simple. With the one with the big green knife. Oh, that was flamey with the green yeah, knife. Yeah, you know. I thought, because it standed out, you know, I thought you liked the color yeah, green. You know, yeah. Oh, maybe. well, look, flamey. He's color coded. Oh, look at him. That's quite cute. Is that in season right now? What, green? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, uh, maybe. I don't think the colors go out of season. Well, let's see. This one's going to get heated up. This is going to be the retake being played towards the A side, so they're going to be swarmed there. Heroic went for a rush towards the B site last time. Well, they ticked that one off the checklist, and now, obviously, <laughs> what follows shoot is a uh, rush towards A. Bomb goes down. Simple. He's going to be kicking himself with his teammates. Don't find success into this one. He has actually been the antagonizer into a lot of these rounds and had to push up. Smoke goes in. Simple drops down. Let's try to crouch around it. Fires off a warning shot, but that's another save. That's going to be 14-13. If they save all three weapons, it's okay. They can actually buy up around that into the next round. But if they lose anything here, Na'Vi are going to be in a horrible spot. So hopefully Simple doesn't get overzealous and peek into this and lose his face. Ooh. Wadi. Going in through door. They know that Simple likes to save there towards card to get this exit frags. No exit kills today. Instead, Heroic will exit with the victory. 14 to 13. Flamey playing retake towards the A side from Highway. Left it rather barren and uh, gave too much room there for Heroic because they get to 13. Now the reset for Na'Vi. Obviously, they can still buy having three players saved. That is going to be the pause as well. Heroic attack pause. So you get yourself back into a position where now you're one round away from equalizing the scoreline. You're going to take that pause out. Take a breather. Take a second to work out where you focus your gaze, where you try and find success and actually make this a 14-14. And then from that point onwards, who's going to pick up the match point round? Well, who knows? Because this might be, uh, might be one for overtime, Jack. This could be an OT. 14 to 13 as we are waiting for Horo to be ready. Obviously, they get the 30-second tactical timeout. Four of those bad boys. Look at those lavender-colored gloves. Uh, I'm trying to find out. Oh, in the middle there. Yeah, whose is those? Rabina, I'd say. Who is it? No. No. Try again. Switch it. Come on, Matt. Switch it. Who's the lavender gloves? We're not going to find Matt, that. Stop. Oh, wait. I think I see him. I hey! Yeah, that yeah, was right. Well, that's nice. You know, quite a nice color. But they've, they've all died. Oh. They're all dead. Simple's done them in with the orb. Uh, well, uh, those gloves are now going to be tinted with red, it seems. He yeah, more of a crimson now, off the back of that round. But Snappy and Moddy, going in for the play towards the B site. Zeus, he's got the secondary up as well. Hopefully, takes over to try and assist. He can flash in if he wants. Zeus should find these frags, really. Yeah, gets the first, takes down Moddy. It's all on Snappy. This is going to be a 15th round for Na'Vi. This completely flips things back on its head once more. Snappy, how many weapons can he force out of their hands, though? That's going to be the important matter. Only two rebuys. Electronic does him in, grabs the AK. Flamey could save the AK as well if he wants, but they tried to get to the AWP. They couldn't quite get there in time, but at least Flamey gets an AK. They can buy up around this. Yeah, I think that might be the uh, chance for Heroic going out the window. Obviously, 15, sorry, 13 to 14. They win that round. Na'Vi is completely broke. And there's a high chance they would have got to 15, 14. Then Na'Vi could have bought again. Then they have the one match point to close the game in under 30 rounds. It will be one player towards A main. Snappy alone here behind the box, but actually going to be winning the duel there versus Electronic. The flash doesn't really connect for too long. And Simple is alone towards this B bomb, so it finds one onto Moddy. The headshot does connect. Now the four versus four does ensue. Bomb goes down. Bomb it will get planted there. And Zeus rotates back through the vents. Rubina takes a big hit. Leaves him just on 41 HP. That's a nice nade as well. That might actually tag Snappy up. Oh, the Molotov also. This should be the final round for Na'Vi, really. Snod. Snappy going to be burnt and killed by Zeus. And then there's three left on that T side. Three. A triple threat of T's. Can they make this round work for him as the push comes in towards the B-bomb site? Not a lot of time left. So even though you've got the man advantage, it's not really going to be working out in your favor. It's hitting heroic. They might be able to push this one into OT. This should be the 14th round for him. The retake didn't work. 15-14. Cash on Na'Vi. It's not great. It's not great indeed. Oof. Oh, God, it's quite awful, actually. Simple as money to drop over another orb, potentially, for Flamey. 
Oh, thank you. See, look at that. Matt thinking ahead. He knew we were going to the uh, half-time... Oh, sorry, the tactical pause overlay. He knows what's up. And he brings out the scoreboard just so we can break down the money. What a nice guy. Bob. 5.5k there for simple, so catch up off here. Drop over an M4 to Flamey, or he could buy two Thamases. Either or would work fairly well. But uh, the buy has come through. It will be the force bomb. is the last round here, round number 30. 30 frags, 10 deaths for simple. As he's uh, shot. How has he only died 10 times when they've lost 14 rounds? He saved quite a lot. Yeah, to be fair, he has saved quite a lot. But still. Two kits as well, so. Everyone, wait, is there seriously no one positive in terms of KD for Heroic right now? No, there's not. It goes to show how much Na'Vi actually save. They were dropping a Neggy bomb. Yeah. So. Round number 30. Thamas for Flamey. It will be the double opposite, but instead it's going to be Zeus orping towards B solo. As they have three players stacked towards the A site. Going to be leaving Edward alone towards Highway. As Zeus has made the call, he's anticipating her to eventually conclude towards the A bomb site. Nico. We're going to go for the burst out through the door. Simple though, on the A site. If they do actually come towards him, this is where those highlight clips are made. This is where he really starts to show you how effective of an orper he can be into these rounds. But here they come. They found their way out. Oh! He's been obliterated though. His face gets peeled back. It don't matter. His teammates will be able to go the whole way through. They find the frags. That's tag on 7 HP. Rubino on 100. Edward and Zeus on the retake. Is it going to be OT? Or is it going to be a 1-1 between these teams in terms of the maps? As it's all up to Zeus now. He gets the first frag. The Molotov goes in. The bomb is down on the site. He should know the location of Rubino. Rubino is low. Finds the kill with a CZ. A Na'Vi win on cash. The full 30 rounds, 16 to 14 is the scoreline as Na'Vi eventually close it out. Yeah, Stop it took it just on the brink of overtime. Yeah, it did take him a while though, obviously. 16 to 14, close to going OT when you saw the buy coming out from them. Yeah. Two orbs, a FAMAS, two CZs as well, but they managed to make it work, obviously. Zeus making a good call to leave him solo towards B. Have uh, Edward solo towards high with the M4, and then obviously have the three players situated towards the A side. The boost came in towards Shroud, and obviously, Having the weaker firepower, if you can go one for one and leave it down to the players with the orbs and the M4s to really deal the damage, you know, you can pull through the sort of, you know, quirky buy rounds. Yeah, it's true. And I mean, that was kind of all that went down there towards the end. But for Na'Vi, Cash still looking like it needs some improvements. But overall, yeah. I mean, the T side was great. Yeah. Obviously, we know that Na'Vi have a lot of individual skill, you know, flamey, electronic, you can never forget simple as well. But it was that CT side that seemed to be... Uh, Leaving us a bit bewildered sometimes, obviously. Snappy having a great cooling game there. It seems like on, on both maps, really, Snappy really impressing me overall. Yeah, definitely true. And I mean, the big thing for me is just, this could have been a 2-0 for Heroic. It was definitely very close to that mark. Didn't quite go that way. But even then, that is going to be this series closed out. So they split a map each as they go 1-1. Kasha bit more of a wilder affair. Definitely unorthodox of a pick from Narvin. That's what we expected to see. But that wraps up that series. Moving on after this, though, is going to be Mouse Sports versus LDLC. The first map is going to be Cobble. And that is going to be coming in after the break. But for the meantime, enjoy these highlight clips as this was just a spectacular 5K from Simple. Allow your eyes to take in this. And then we'll be back in with our third and final series after the break. ESL Pro League is brought to you in part by Intel, Betway, Pay Safeguard, Logitech G, Mountain Dew League, MSI, Xfinity, and ESEA. Incendiary out. 